This video was produced by This demonstration has safety risks. Because of these risks, we wear closed-toed shoes and safety goggles. This demonstration should only be done by a trained professional and should not be tried at home. Hi, I'm Casey Rogers and I'm coming to you from the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at James Madison University. The demonstration I'm going to do today is called thermite. The thermite reaction was patented in 1895 by German scientist Hans Goldschmidt and is used to weld iron railroad tracks together. The reaction is a single replacement reaction between iron 3 oxide, or rust, and aluminum metal. It produces molten iron and aluminum oxide. The reaction is very exothermic and can be quite dangerous. The molten iron that is produced mixes with the iron of the railroad tracks to weld them together. As you can see, my cannonballs here have a very thin layer of iron oxide on them and so only a very small amount of iron oxide can react with the aluminum metal making this a safer way to do this demonstration. So I'm going to take these cannonballs and I'm going to smack them together using a glancing blow and we should be able to see the reaction evidenced by some sparks. Let me turn it to get some more iron oxide and some more aluminum. Ooh, that was a good one. So as you can see, I smacked the cannonballs together fairly vigorously and the mechanical energy that I used helped overcome the very high activation energy that this reaction has. And because I use mechanical energy, this reaction can be termed a mechanochemical process. This has been Casey at James Madison University. Thank you for watching. <laughs>